What's up, guys? It's Chrissy215. God is good, y'all. I hope y'all living your best fucking life. And as you can see from the title, a real friend would never want to hurt you. And welcome to the sui generis topic. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm trying to figure out my little flow here. But if you rock with me, you rock with me. And I want to say shout out to all my mentors who have been helping me. Rock Smart Infinite Water, shout out to you, you my bro, Victoria Hunter, I love you so much, you are queen, um, T Got Wisdom, I love you too bro, you're my bro, Daryl's World, and Jordan the Chosen One, I love y'all so much, y'all are just like decent, um, Infinite Waters actually helped me manifest everyone else, so Infinite Waters, watching him, I watch, I've been watching him for a very long time, and I know that it's like a mixed review as far as because I watch our Victoria Hunter and I do see basically I'm getting like two sides of both worlds and I love it. So I do see like I just see the difference in it and I'm just growing. I'm growing. I'm here to help y'all. And also I work out a lot. So before y'all come for me about being in my sports, bro, I don't care. I like to work out. This is my life. You get what you get. This is me in real life. This is me in real person. I don't care. I don't got nothing to hide. Now, I'm going to dive right into this video. All right, money, a minute and 36 seconds. Okay, so I really want to help somebody because I've been through so much stuff, you guys. Like, I've been through so much stuff. I've been hurt. Um, I'm just numb now to everything only because it's like I done finally made it. I know trials and tribulations are not over because it's going to always be something. But far as like the the deep rooted pain that I've experienced in my life, all that pain has allowed me now to I'm just numb. So like when people do stuff to me now, it's like it might hurt. You know, we're humans. We have feelings. So I'll hurt. Like, yeah, I'd be like, damn, like that's fucked up. But what am I gonna do? You feel me? Like when I was a little girl, I I didn't cope correctly. Like I just I just didn't cope correctly, so it felt like I was dying. At this moment in my life, I don't feel like I'm dying. I'm hurt sometimes, like about little dumb fuck shit, but I love life. I love God. I'm blessed. Like everywhere I go, people respect me. It is what it is. Like I can't, you know, cry over spilled milk. So I want to help y'all realize what a real friend is because it took me a long time. And when you love somebody, when you're a good-hearted person and you love someone, you overlook so many things and you keep accepting stuff because you love them. And you're like, you know what? I don't like that they did this and a third, but I can't see my life without them. I can't see me going through life, having achievements, accomplishments, doing stuff without them by my side. So you keep holding on to them because you want to take them to the top with you. But you got to understand Everybody can't go to the top with you. You have a right to be happy. If someone's not making you happy, why stay around them? You feel me? So the definition of a friend, a real friend, is it excludes family it excludes family members, like family relationships, and it excludes a sexual relationship. Because once you add sex into the equation, that is no longer a friend. A friend is specifically only there as a person who trusts you and you can look this stuff up for yourself. A friend is a mutual bond of affection. Like you have a best friend. That's why it's labeled as just friends. People, see, don't let nobody manipulate you, especially if you're a female, because I've been there. I've been manipulated. Like, I ain't no shame in my game. Don't let no man manipulate you by saying, we are friends or and I'm going to get into other um, scenarios too, but just GP for a woman, I want you to really understand what a friend is. If you have some man in your ear telling you, I'm your friend, I'm your friend, but y'all are not together. He's trying to sleep with you, trying to make you feel, you know, you, like sex brings emotions. So once you, you have to establish a friendship with someone first, yes, to get to know them. But once y'all take it above that next level and you're intimate and have sex, and you are a person who is emotional and feels stuff, that is not no longer a friend. Because a friend is specifically only there 
to respect you, to, um, you know, respect your boundaries. If someone's not respecting your boundaries, how is they your friend? A friend is going to meet you where you're at. A friend is going to support you. A friend is going to be that beacon of light for you. They're not going to ever want to see you hurt. A real friend would never, ever want to see you hurt. If they're hurting you, they're going to try and do something to change it. And we're all human. Everybody is going to have some type of, um, everybody is going to always have a disagreement no matter how cool you are with someone no matter what like you're going to always have a disagreement with somebody no matter who it is you feel me i gotta check my food so this is a little ratchet right now but like you're going to always have some type of disagreement with somebody i don't care who they is and a real friend y'all can be able to work through it work through it come to a come to a agreement come to a conclusion something so don't let people tell you yeah we're friends now as far as these females and let's get to the females right females always be screaming yeah i'm your friend i'm your friend however they'll sit there and have you in fucked up situations like they'll tell you oh have sex with this like first of all i had situations where a female tried to tell me Oh, sleep with this rapper because he'll give you money. What? Like, you're not my real friend. To tell me what to do with my body, this is my body. I do what I want with my body. Don't tell me what to do with my body. That's not a real friend. You feel me? Y'all have to stay woke. And y'all have to pay attention to how people are treating you. You have to stay woke. Pay attention to the things that people say to you. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the freaking day, right, if somebody's really your friend, they going to respect you. They're going to respect your boundaries, especially if they know the type of person you are. Like, okay, I know that you're this type of person. So why am I about to tell you, go do this, go do that, when I know the type of person you are? Listen, pay, it took me so long, y'all, so long. I don't know why. I'm still finding myself. I'm still figuring stuff out. But from what I do know, I see all red flags now. Looking back, I can look back at every incident like, damn, you wasn't really for me. You're not for me at all, especially if I'm so, I'm a, I'm a rider. I do whatever it is that my, my mans want to do or my homies want to do. Like, all right, you want to do this? We out. Or whatever, if you want to do this, all right, we out. You want to go to the bar? I'm going to go with you. The bar life was never really my thing, honestly. I made it my thing just so I could have a bond with the people who like to do that and I wanted to be a part of their life because I love them. I'm like, I'm willing to put myself in an uncomfortable situation just to make you happy. And the more you do something, the more you adapt and the more that you can take control of the situation. So now, even now, I haven't been, I don't really go out like that, but if I go out, I can easily do it because like I done did it for so long, but that's not me. Being in a club and all that, it ain't really me, but I can adapt and do it. But if you have a friend who you're doing this for to make them happy and they don't even respect you enough okay i got you coming to the bar knowing darn well you don't want to or the club but now i'm about to tell you oh go sleep with this guy what you're not my real friend i'm already doing something that doesn't make me feel 100 percent happy because at the end of the day i'm a i'm a big kid at the end of the day i'd rather do fun shit i want to do fun shit like going out drinking all night and like who wants to do, really do that who wants i don't mind having a drink here and there i'm not gonna say i'm making it seem like i'm perfect i don't mind having a drink here and there but I don't want to sit here and drink a half a bottle, all these shots for real, all every weekend. Who wants to do that every weekend? That's low vibrational as fuck. Waking up with a hangover. That's not like, that's really not fun. It's not fun at all. So you need friends who are just like you. I like to work out. I like to work out. I like to eat healthy. I like to drink my fucking water. I like to read. I like to learn. I don't want to be around people who are just always on some other type shit. Like we're not on the same page. So with that being said, pay attention because that's not a real friend. A real friend is not going to keep putting you in situations that, and oh, okay, let me get into this too, coercion, right? People always want to be like, oh, I didn't force you to do it. I didn't put a gun to your head. Okay, okay, let's break it down and you can look this stuff up. Coercion is also psycho a psychological pressure. You're psychologically pressuring me to do something that I really, if I say I don't want to do it, I say no. I said, no, I don't want to do it. You're like, come on, or you're saying something, excuse me, or you're doing some weird shit. Now it's like, 
I got pressure on my head. I'm like, all right, let me just do it. That's coercion. You don't have to threaten somebody. You don't have to verbally hurt somebody. You don't have to hit somebody to coerce them to do something. If a person knows that they, that you have an attachment to them and you love them, they can coerce you anyway because they're like, okay, come on, do this. Okay, come on, do that. At the end of the day, that's not a real friend. And even within your family, like, even though a friend is really not a family relationship, but if you want to just take the essence of being a friend, of being a support system to somebody, even your family member. See, friends and enemies, a family member can either be your friend or be your enemy. And if they're your friend, they're going to support you. They want to be there for you. But if they're, if they're your fucking enemy and they're envious of you and they're jealous of you and they don't want to see you be great, they're always throwing in some type of curveball to throw you off. Because I like literally, yo, I've dealt with this shit my entire fucking life. That's why I'm here to try and help somebody because... I done been through the most, like literally, like what y'all are looking at is a testament from God. I do nothing but pray to God. I believe in God. I know God got me. God has took me from the bottom all the way up to the top and I'm not done yet. I'm only going to keep going up. And for everybody who, who treated me badly, talk shit about me, all that shit, I don't care because at the end of the day, look, look at who I am and look at who you are. I genuinely have peace inside, no matter what people put me through. That's why I want y'all to hop on this bandwagon with me and have an understanding and start evaluating the people in your life because they're not your real fucking friends. If you're, we see, let's see, I look at movies and everything. I know y'all hear this stuff a lot, but movies really do have some truth in it. So growing up, are you seeing how best friends, I don't know, I can't even say a movie, let's just say, um whatever let's say my wife and kids or something let's say um the, the two little kids the little the youngest little daughter and a little boy that she likes franklin franklin is considered that's a good friend to her he's always there for her even though yes he likes her but they're kids they're not adults yet they're imagine that same relationship in an adult version no sex is not no sex he's always there for her always trying to make her happy and it goes both ways it has to be even if you're if you're not receiving the same energy back from the person that you're giving it to cut that shit off it's going to drain you if you're putting if you're going above and beyond every day you're always giving it a hundred percent a hundred percent and that person's only giving you ten percent you're always giving a ninety percent and they're only giving you ten percent you're going to be drained they're not your real friend like you have to understand the difference between a real friend i don't give a fuck who it is i don't care if it's your fucking family cut them the fuck off this is your life tomorrow's not promised y'all we are in a fucking this is an animal jungle this is a king this is this is the fucking jungle out here you gotta you really have to either be at the top of the food chain or you won't be at the bottom. And when, when a time come around, you won't be like, damn, I just wasted my fucking life for what? Don't waste your life. Go soar. Go be free. Free your mind. All this shit that we hear, even though the music is out here to keep us low vibes, some of the songs, though, if you see me, I listen to everything. I have, I feel like I have this gift where, like, I could just extract from everything. So even if a song is low vibe, I still can take a message from it. But for example, that song, Free Your Mind, right? Like, listen to what people are saying. This is 2022 and this is out here. Free your freaking mind. Like, have peace. Be free. If you don't want to do something, you don't have to. Because if that person is not making sure your bills are paid, that you eat every day, the basic needs that we need as a human being, if you don't have people who are supporting that, making sure you're cool, why you feel like you got to be around them? You don't have to be around them. They're not your real friend. A real friend going to make sure you're okay. Like, I literally just moved myself from my dorm into my apartment. Who who helped me for real? Ain't nobody helped me. Like, for real? Like, come on. Like, it took a whole, um, basically a whole fucking week to keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. A real friend going to be like, damn, they going to do more than just fucking move two little things that say oh i got stuff to do okay that's fine you i understand you have stuff to do i don't need you anyway my shit won't get done regardless but you're not don't sit here and say to me that i'm your real friend how when you're watching me like you a friend is not gonna watch a friend is not a bully you feel me y'all uh, i'm i'm an empath and i grew up with nothing but narcissist a narcissistic parent and i'm gonna get into that in another video if y'all want that drop a comment let me know what's up so I can help y'all get through that too. But since I had to grow up with a demon, like I was born, I was literally nine months in a demon, y'all, like a freaking witch. Like since I had to deal with that, 
it's like boom trap that's what i i don't know only attracted though i have such good people in my life like the people who genuinely help me and love me i love them so much but far as the people who are just so negative it's like yo i already see all the tricks because i i dealt with words trust me what you're trying to people will try and punish you People will bully you. And it's sad because it's these men. And I like what Victoria Hunter said too because she said 70% of narcissists in this country is men. And that's no cat. Men, females are very narcissistic too. But these men, and they, they are bullies. It's like they'll get with a girl, you know, and just, like, you're a bully. Like, how are you trying to bully a female? Like, that's weird. But this video getting too long now. I'm going to do another one. But like I said, y'all. A real friend would never hurt you, okay? A real friend would never hurt you. A real friend is going to support you, going to be there for you, going to love you, going to tell you that I love you. Like, when you love somebody, even if you're not, even if it's not romance, when you're moving out of a, your heart chakra and you love people, you want to love everybody. Like, me, all my clients, everybody who I, who I come in contact with, I have love for them. Like, now, if you're an evil type of spirit, all right, stay away from me. But if you're a positive, happy, a good person, I'm going to give you love. No matter how hurt I've been, I have so much love in me because God is in me. You can't take that away from me. I'm going to die loving God, and that's no cat. God is good. I am blessed, always. To anybody who's a hater of mine and who tries so hard to see me fail, you didn't win. You could never win. You can't go against God. You can't. You're nothing. You're nothing. You feel me? I'm something because God got me, but you are nothing. And that's why I want y'all to look at people and say, like, who are you? Who is you? They can't open up them big doors for you. God can, though. They can't. They can't take you and move you out of one freaking city and go all the way to another. Only God can do that. God makes ways for his children. You feel me? So let the haters talk and cut these fake ass friends off. You need real friends around you. We're, the world we living in, nah, you need real people around you. Don't close yourself off, all right? Because I've been there where it's like, I'm cool. I'm not about to fuck. No, don't close yourself off because there's good people out here. You feel me? But y'all stay up 17 minutes and I'm about to go. Welcome to the Sui Daenerys genre. Like, comment, subscribe, share, especially if you watch it this far. You feel me? Show me some love because I'm here. I'm here to stay. I'm not going nowhere. I'm going to tell my story. I'm going to help someone because at the end of the day, I lost 60 pounds on my own. You feel me? Let me go. But stop playing with me. Like, deuces, all right?